The Hungarian ambassador to the Holy See recently spoke to EWTN Vatican Bureau Chief Andreas Tonhauser about the Holy Father's three-day trip. He says Pope Francis will most likely renew his call for peace in the majority Catholic country. We're here in Rome, right in front of St. Peter's, and we're joined by His Excellency, Ambassador to the Holy See, Eduard Habsburg. He's the Ambassador to the Holy See for Hungary. Thank you so much for, for, for being with us. And we know that the Pope shortly will be traveling to Hungary again in a very short time. Why is that? Of course, I want to believe that he does it because he loves the Hungarians so much. Um, but I think he had a very good impression when he came two years ago for short seven hours at our Eucharistic Congress. And the Hungarians must have left a lasting impression on him. Finally, I think that we have many topics in common. Um, the Pope feels that in, in many sectors of today's world, you can have a dialogue with Hungary. So I'm looking forward to this visit and to his meetings with Hungarians, but also with our politicians. What kind of church will the Holy Father find when he comes to Hungary? Hungary likes to say we are a Christian nation. We're a Christian nation since thousand years. Hungary battles with all the secular problems that you have in the church everywhere in the world. But when the Pope came for the Eucharistic Congress, 300,000 Hungarians walked the streets of Budapest, uh, walking behind the Blessed Sacrament. So it is really a Christian nation. He will find a nation that has a strong Catholic population, but also a strong and very visible Calvinist, Reformatus uh, population, and also uh, one of the most vibrant Jewish communities in Europe right now. So I'm sure it's going to be a very interesting visit. Hungary is also a neighboring country to Ukraine where a war is raging on European soil. What are you expecting of uh, what effect will the Pope's visit have also on the, uh, in this regard? I'm pretty certain that the Pope will renew his call for peace, his call for immediate ceasefire. And he knows that Hungary is very close to him in this because Hungary is also clearly asking for immediate ceasefire peace negotiations, and the Pope knows that Viktor Orban, our Prime Minister, and he are very much on one line on this topic. So this is going to be a topic at the visit, I'm sure. Allow me at the end also a personal question. I know that you're about to publish a new book. It's called The Habsburg Way, um, a, also in, in reference to, to the family that, that, that you're coming from. Just a few words to that book. Thank you very much for asking. It's a fun little book that is not simply a history of the Habsburgs, but it's also trying to explain our seven principal values and proposing them for the world of today that has perhaps gone lost a bit. And that's why I call it Seven Rules for Turbulent Times. Eduard Habsburg, Ambassador to the Holy See for Hungary, thank you so much for your time. A pleasure.